Hi Aquarius, hello, welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is your love reading uh, for May 10th through the 17th, okay? These are just check-ins, or they're gonna be quick. We're just finding out what's gonna happen this week and we're gonna get you some advice, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Universe, Source. What messages of love do you have for my Aquarius for May 10th through the 17th? Giving them guidance, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, enlightenment, and truth. Truth for healing, freedom, clarity, and peace of mind. You guys, I swear, we have alarm, car alarms that go off like every hour. I don't know why. So I do apologize. Hopefully it'll they'll cut it off soon. Alright, please keep in mind I could be doing this reading for a cross watcher, aka your love interest. So please don't make it, don't force it to fit your side of the story. Um, yeah, just take it how it resonates, okay? Alright, Aquarius. For May 10th through the 17th. Oh, and happy Mother's Day to all of you. Wishing you a very, very beautiful day in these trying times. Alrighty. Okay, one more shuffle. There we go. Okay, what can Aquarius expect to happen this week? The chariot. Okay. Yes. The chariot and your advice is the page of wands. Okay. Let's see. And then we have the wheel of fortune here underneath at the bottom okay so the chariot there's movement forward um could be in a more positive direction um the chariot is this is cancer energy um this could be like you know it could it could represent someone moving very quickly towards something progressing forward you know like advancing pushing through persevering or just moving on so why does Aquarius have the chariot why does Aquarius have the, ch the chariot here spirit why does Aquarius have the chariot okay ace of swords so there's definitely you could be moving on you could be moving forward because now you have a clear mind on something why the Ace of Swords? That's too many cards, you guys. Sorry. Let's ask again. Hold on. Let me shuffle these. Um, why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay, the Queen of Swords. So we're having some air energy here. Um, why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? I mean, you could be dealing with... Um, oh, that's you. Sorry. <laughs> um, that's air energy. Why is the Queen of Swords here? I'm just so used to not reading air signs as an air sign. It's usually like someone acting like an air sign. You know what I mean? Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Is this you, Aquarius? Um... The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Like, she could be a jealous type. You know what I mean? She could be bored. She could just be feeling stuck in a rut. Um, are you feeling that way? Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed? Why is the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? Okay. Oh, maybe. Four of Wands. Okay, Six of Pentacles. Are you wanting to move on, Aquarius, um, because, like, maybe you want to cut out something. You want to cut out some crap, some BS. I, I think you feel stuck at home, like, in your home life, in this home, this relationship. You could live with this person, this Four of Wands energy. Um, you could feel bored. I don't know, but I, I think you want to, you want to give your energy to something, someone else. 
that's what I'm getting. Why the Six of Pentacles? Oh, the King of Cups. I did, I, I saw the Queen of Cups. Um, water sign? Are you dealing with the water sign? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio? Why is this King of Cups here? Mmm. Four of Cups. Missed opportunity. Feeling, you're feeling like some sort of regret. Dissatisfied here. Are you missing someone? You're at home. Okay, is this, are you, oh man, please tell me that's not what I'm reading. Are you, like quarantine life is getting to you, you, mm, like there's someone else, okay, and maybe you're missing this person. Why is the Four of Cups here? Like, you can't go off and dip it and do it with this other person, so you're like, you're feeling it? Why is the Four of Cups here? I mean, it almost feels, uh oh, whoa, okay. Okay, we have the sun. There's that queen. Um, we have the sun card here. And we have the queen of cups. I saw her. She, And we have the lovers. Wow. Whoa, Aquarius. What? What's the energy behind the chariot? Before I tell you what this is saying. Okay. That wanted to come out. Um, what's the energy? Hold on. Did something turn over? This Three of Cups, I think that the Three of Cups flipped over. Um, you guys, I feel like I feel like someone is has like a side piece, a third party energy person. I think it's another person for sure. Um, and someone is bored at home, like they're missing their other person. What's behind the what's the energy behind the chariot? What's the energy behind the chariot? What's the energy behind the chariot? Oh my goodness. What's the energy behind the chariot spirit? Thank you. Ooh. The, I'm sorry, the high priestess and the reverse. Mm. It, feel, it does feel a little selfish. Like you're thinking of yourself. Why or or cross watcher take it out resonates? Why is the high priestess reversed? Someone I don't know, they like there's some shallowness here. Why is the high priestess in the reverse? It almost feels like you you want to give up your four of wands, like your home life for this other person. I mean, I think you love them, I think they make you happy. There's love here for that that other person. Um, because I feel like you're you're kind of bored at home like you feel stuck there why is the high priestess reversed the knight of wands in the reverse this is I, I think things aren't really going the way you want it to go I don't know if this has to do with being quarantined or not but you, maybe your relationship is not going the way you want it to go and so you feel kind of stuck in there in in the relationship and maybe you want to clear you want to make things clear maybe you you what's the energy behind the ace of swords you want to make things clear with this person what, what is the energy behind the ace of swords what's the energy behind the ace of swords What's the energy behind the Ace of Swords? Oh, Nine of Cups in the reverse. So, um, mm, I think you're miserable. I think you're miserable without this other person. This person, they, they did something for you. They did something for you that you didn't get at home. And it's almost like with the lovers there, you're making a decision between two people. I did get the three of cups. This definitely is third party. You're not happy at home. You want to, you're thinking about yourself, right? Because the 
high priestess reverse is a very has a very selfish energy very shallow energy um and i'm getting that and with the knight of wands and the reverse it's like things aren't going as planned maybe you thought you would be able to dip out and see them and maybe you can't I don't know. That's what, okay, well, that's what's happening. I think you're trying to, you're trying to dip out on your home life, your family. If, you, if you're married, a, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, you're in a relationship. That's pretty clear. And you're wanting to give your energy to someone else. And you're, I feel like you're willing to give it all up. I could be wrong, but that's what it feels like. So your advice is the page of wands okay so the page of wands hmm. there's probably something you need to communicate why is the page of wands aquarius's advice the nine of pentacles okay okay so if there's a single person in your life this taurus virgo energy i think that's a leo energy if this person i think you need to talk to this person why is the nine of pentacles here the page of wands the page of wands in the reverse um this is the page of wands the page of wands in the reverse is like someone who lacks direction like they they they're still they're too hasty What's the energy behind the Page of Wands? What's the energy behind the Page of Wands? Mm. The Tower. Ooh, the Tower. Why the Tower? Oh, man. Because you're hiding something, Aquarius. You're hiding. You have a secret. This person. Why? Why is spirit? Spirit is telling you to talk to this single person. I don't think this is the, obviously your partner. This is this third party energy person, right? I feel like there's something you need to tell them, like the truth, because here I, it's, it's, spirit is saying, I mean, you're hiding something, right? There's a tower here, like, oh, like you need to tell them the truth. Why is the page of wands reversed? Why is the page of wands reversed? This person could be calling you or wondering why they can't see you. Why is the page of wands reversed? And you're starting to feel, you're feeling it. So we have the four of swords in the reverse. Yo. Yeah, there's, there's this energy of social unrest. I think you're kind of tired of being on quarantine. I'm getting social unrest. But with the page of wands, I think you need to tell this person the truth. Why is the four of swords reversed? I don't... Oh, man. Okay. That's too many. There's... Oh, man, you guys. Yeah, that's too many. Spirit, can I get fewer cards? Why is the four of swords reversed? Okay. You're tired of being at home. And you want to get to someone else. I, <laughs> you might have to have a conversation with more than just one person. Tell me more about this page of wands. Tell me more. Tell me more about the Page of Wands. Because the, the Page of Wands, the Page of Wands is a messenger. All, all of the pages are. And they, you know, they, they communicate. Why is the Page of Wands here? Tell me more. The Empress. Empress is here. I have Taurus energy. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Someone you feel is very beautiful and abundant. Like, seriously, why is the Empress here? 
Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands. There's I, I don't know, I feel like you need to make a decision. Like you're you need to evaluate this. You're at a crossroads. Like I think you want to leave it behind. I think Spirit is telling you to evaluate this. Reevaluate this. You're wanting to put your energy into someone else. You have secrets. Why is the moon here? Oh, man. Yeah, this is like renewing something, expressing your feelings, your emotions. Letting some, like, this could be awakening someone else, improving something, atoning something, telling someone how you feel. Even apologizing, because I think you're keeping a secret from two people. Like, the other person may not even know, that third party may not even know what's going on. And they're just like, what the heck? I think Spirit is telling you to tell them the truth. Or to communicate with this person about whatever you're hiding. Yeah, I, I think it's... Yeah. Mm. So something is definitely changing. You need to put in... I feel like spirit is not supporting you. If you're trying to leave your your home life, I, spirit is not supporting that. They're not... Spirit is not advising you, should I say. Because, you know, universe will support you in all of your... You know, that you would eventually get on the right path is what I'm saying. But they will not back you on making a decision like this where there's infidelity, there's people hurt, there's people heartbroken, betrayed. Like, that's not something that spirit will support. All right, guys. That's all I have. Good luck with this situation. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Mwah. Deuces.